With compound interest, it's all about the formulas. Compound interest is just interest on interest. So it takes whatever you put in, and then it uses the interest made to find the next bit of interest. N compounds per year. So here's the formula. We have an amount. A. It's the future amount. That's how to remember that. P represents the present amount. R represents the interest rate. And N represents the number of compounds a year. Whether it's yearly, quarterly, biannually, etc. T represents time in years. It's very important to remember that it's time in years. Let's look at example one. Rewriting our formula so we don't forget it. And we'll probably need it in both examples. Suppose you invest 13000 in an account that pays 8% interest. So let's just label everything. We have A, we have P, we have R, N, and T. And we'll just fill all those things in as we read. A is going to be the amount in the future. So we'll just leave that there. P is 13,000. Because it says this that P is the amount that you invest. So it also says that it pays 18% interest. That's the interest rate. And it's compounded monthly. That means that the number of times it will be compounded is 12 times a year. It says how much will be in the account after 9 years. Since time is in years, we would just put 9 here. If they want to know how much would be in the account, that's the amount at the end, A. That's what we're looking for. So we'll just put everything into our equation now that we have all the different pieces. R is 0 0.08 over N, which is 12, raised to the N times T is 9. From here, the only thing we can do without the calculator, because a lot of these are hard to do in your head, is 
is multiply 12 times 9, which is 108. Now I'll show you how to plug it into a calculator. We would write 13,000, and then we'd put a parenthesis, and we'd put a 1, plus another parenthesis, point zero 0.08, divided by 12, close parenthesis, and then close the parenthesis again, then use a caret symbol, or to the exponent, 108. This should give you A, and in this case, A is equal to 26,643 dollars and 89 cents. I want my interest rate to be compounded monthly. In example two, we'll do the same process again. A, P, R, N, and T. A bank loans $800 at 3% interest, so we know our interest rate is 0 0.03. We know how much is being invested, and it's compounded quarterly, so the number of times it's compounded per year is four. It says the loan is paid in full after five years, so T is five. Now that we know all this information, we'll just plug in each piece into our equation. So, the only thing we can simplify before plugging into the calculator is the exponent. 4 times 5 is 20. Entering it into the calculator, we would get 800 plus 1 times 1 plus the quantity 0 0.03 divided by 4, close parenthesis, and close parenthesis again, caret 20. So A is equal to 928 dollars and 95 cents. And that makes sense because it's not being compounded as quickly as the first equation.